Hello, this is Bubble from Bubble Says Bushcraft and Survival. Um, I got my big purchase a little bit early, so I may have got a table out and so we can go through it. And I haven't opened this yet. Um, don't really know what's in the box. Uh, it was quite expensive. I had to buy more pieces for it. I'll go into that and why here in a minute. There's going to be a little bit of a rant in this video, just so you know. Um, oh, that's my coffee. I'm going to be a, like I said, a small little rant in this video. Um, but let's get into what it is. So, I... Bought a crossbow. I bow, I bow hunted for a long time and I wanted to try crossbow. So we'll go into some stuff here in just a minute, but I done some research and I had it down to two different crossbows. And I ended up with this here my dog just hit the camera stand sorry this here this is a raven r10 let's do let's see my puppy's walking around sorry Let's get this unlocked here and open this up and see what's in it. So it sounds like my other dog's coming. She has a hard time walking, so she's coming down my stairs. I'm going to turn this like this so you guys can sort of see. Hey, Billy. That's my other dog's name. There we go. So. Here is the crossbow itself. see where can I as you guys can see it like I'm gonna have to adjust my camera a little bit so it came with three arrows or three bolts I should say Looks like it came with a quiver. All this in that one. I bought this from a store locally. I was owner's manual. Scope and crank. Which I'll go into the scope in a minute, which is part of my rant. So bear with me when we get there. would be so hard to close. Come on, get over here. 
forget it. We'll deal with that later. Okay, so let me move this so you guys can actually see it here. Get this stuff all. Okay, so I went with the R10 for two reasons. Price and the crank. I was looking at yeah, there. Oh, so let me see here. It's got the little tag thing I, I want to read off of. Okay, so R10 specs. If you want to zoom in and look at them right there. I'll read them to you. It's 400 feet per second with a 400 grain arrow. Power stroke is 11 inches. Kinetic energy is 142 feet foot pounds. Excuse me. Draw weight is 12 pounds. Axle to axle cocked is 6 inches. Axle to axle uncocked is 10.5 inches. Length overall is 33 inches and it weighs 6.8 pounds. That's with, I'm assuming, everything connected to it. But, so, I went with this because, of course, the 400 feet per second is nice, but it was the 142 foot pounds that really got it because I want to be able to hunt big game um, not just deer I'm talking elk such like that with it so that's one of the reasons another reason I got it is because of this right here as long as I keep my hand in front of this the strings are not going to rip my hand off or my thumb or but I mean you should keep them underneath which is another good safety. But I also like the grip. It's like a rubber almost. You can sort of squeeze on it. It's a little bit. It's not hard plasticky. Really good. Um, I have heard bad things about the strings going out really quick. But I've also been told as long as you take care of them and oil them properly that it will you have to oil them before you use it the first time so forth so on um i will read all the way through oh, there's some practice tips in here let's see what's on here real quick So you get a Raven sticker, the owner's manual, three practice tips, 100 grain, and what is this? Register your Raven crossbow and receive 20% off all Raven, all Raven apparel. I'm gonna buy a hat, 25% off, yeah, why not? Well, let's see, let's pull these. So, practice tips, you know, go in like so. Um, these are the, these are 400 weight arrow broadheads. So, with a 100 grain head, that's 500, I'm assuming. That's what they mean. But I'll weigh it and get an exact measurement once I get uh, I'm buying more of these I'm buying at least one more set of six I'd like to get two but then I have to buy the broadheads for them and so forth and so let's get back to the bow another reason I did this is the trigger on this is supposed to be one of the best there is it's got a good safety 
you can see right here the safety it's ambidextrous so if you're left-handed you can get to it I have to look through this and see what a lot of this stuff is because I mean it's heavy but it's not as heavy as some of the other ones I picked up the second runner-up was a 10 point and I couldn't justify paying $500 more for the 10 point over the R10 I just I couldn't justify 500 extra dollars I already had to pay more for this than I wanted to because I'll explain in a minute but the crank right here clips on it's got a little magnet in there that helps hold it into place a little button back here right here you push that in to decock it I probably will never do that I'll probably just buy a target to shoot into because if you're decocking it and you slip and you don't release the button the thing spins but if you do release the button it stops I mean I might decock it it's meant to be decocked it's just a little bit on the dangerous side but it's beautiful I love the camo I'm not even sure what camo it is. The helicoil technology makes it to where the bolt actually floats and doesn't touch the rail. So they say there's no need to really oil the rail. It sits on these two little pieces right up here. If you, I don't know if you can see that. There's two little white spots right here one on each side the arrow actually sits on there and is clipped into here and so it sits above everything and i mean crossbows are dangerous and in the state i live in they have really a really crazy reputation of being the easiest thing in the world to kill an animal with this which i'll open because I might as well look at it this right here nice comes with the lens cloth comes with the connectors and it comes with the scope is illegal for me to use so that is and okay now let me explain this in the state where I live in order to so this crossbow is extremely nice. One thing I don't see is a wrench to put these on with. Let's see which one is for, so I probably want it to go this way. Well, let me see. Well, they're the same, so. So it don't matter which way I put this on. This as long as it's... Here, let me look at this so, so I can do this correctly. I'll read through this whole thing here. Now they're telling me how to put the side on, which really upsets me. I can't use it, but whatever. I'd rather not have to use the sight. Ooh. They want me to uh, put a level across the, excuse me, the limbs to make sure the limbs are level. And this is showing like this. Okay. That's what I wanted to see. So that doesn't seem right though. I'll crank that down later, but I just want to see if these will go on either side. Yeah, cool. 
I can put that on. Oh. Put that there or over here. Can't wait till I can go shoot this thing. Now, the guy at Raven suggested that I do iron sights. Flip-ups, you know, like you have on an AR, which I could do. I have them, and which would be fine with me if I didn't have to judge. Now, this is something my wife said. When you go out and shoot your gun, do you have to judge the distance? Sort of, because a gun shoots straight and, you know, a rifle shoots at a line like, well, it's a slight line. But a crossbow shoots like this, more or less. So, me saying I'm going to shoot something that is a little more flat without having, if I range it, I know I can click up or click down and be at the right range. Then, okay. The same thing with that other thing. I, I just, I'm not getting into that again. Anyway. Let's see, let's open this up. Well, do I really want to? I guess I already bought the other stuff. That, and I'll show you this stuff when it comes in. I had to buy a red dot scope. A red dot sight. Don't call it a scope. Jeez, don't do that here in the state. They'll hear scope and think that I'm breaking the law. That's how that would go. Ooh. Maybe I should flip that around. Well, shouldn't hit it. Anyway, I'm going to flip that around. Can't. So it has to go this way. Okay. I mean, I don't know. This is the Raven R10. This was the unboxing and rant video. Um, the package came with the sight, which is tw up from 20 to 100 yard marks on it. It has the feet per second adjust, so you can adjust it to the speed of your bow, and then it calculates it for you. Um, it has red or green illumination. It's fog and waterproof, shock and recoil proof, fully coated lenses, and wide field of view. Excellent scope. And they came with three of their point three arrows and practice tips. Or keep calling them arrows. I'm so used to using the. I guess maybe people call them arrows now, but these are 400 grain. Plus 100 grain, so there's my dog in. Sorry, guys. Comes with these. Nice. Great. Oh, I should put those on here. Let's, let's do this. I hate how there's no foam in here. See how easy these go in, because I know on my compound bow, they can be a pain at first when you first get the, the quivers until you break them in a little bit. Yes, yeah, so you have to turn, turn the arrow to get it to go in. Oh, okay, come on, turn it. There we go. Let's see if that works for me. 
Oh yeah, they're way out of the way. I wonder if I could change the cant on there. But I could put them on the other side too. But if I shoot, this is what I figure I'll be doing. Well, and then you get, okay, so you get the three arrows, the quiver, the crank, the crossbow, the scope, the raven sticker. Put that on my truck. Get your owner's manual, and you get a 25% off. Oh, almost forgot. So, I found a deal online. It's through a uh, place called Bean Outdoors. B-E-A-N. Outdoors. You click on it. At first, the, the top one will say, out of business for good. That's not the one you want to go to. Go one down. And it's Bean Outdoors. He's a Ravens uh, seller. And he has a deal going now where you get a free soft case. So the place where I bought the bow matched that deal. I got the free soft case to go with my bow. $130 value for free. Wanted to bring that up. Let's should we look at the case? I know this has been a long video, so I'm sorry. That rant sort of took a while. Let's uh I haven't even opened this case yet. I just got some side pocket here. You know, mm, I don't know quite what fit in there. Here's where you can stick arrows, I'm sure, in your quiver. On this side, looks long enough. Uh, is this double zipped? Yes. Okay, so here is the soft case. If you look inside, holy smoke, what is this for? Oh, it's a sling. They gave me, a, I got a free Raven sling. Look at that. I had no idea. That's nice. I'll put that on there. That's unexpected. There's a spot where Looks like there's some padding and stuff. I guess you could put your quivers in here instead of on the side. It's two big pockets. You can sort of see what I'm doing. They're padded from the back, but no padding on top. This is more of a... In the state where I live, you have to have your crossbow and a case when you're... Hey, get away from the guitar. You have to have your crossbow in a case when you transport it. So I would have had to purchase this. They gave it to me for free. There's, as you can see, there's some molly and some D-clips. D-clips are plastic. Let's see how many hoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine hoops of molly, two D-clips. And you got one, two, three, four, five molly and two D-clips on this side. It's got a handle and it's got the backpack straps. Here, let me zip it back up. I was going to put the bow in it. But... Okay. And you can see the backpack straps. Nice and padded, pretty thick. It's got the good padding on the back. I mean, I guess you could. Take that with you when you're out hunting and carry it around. I'm gonna have a probably a backpack on, so I don't know if that'll work. But it's good to get. This is a <laughs> these are thirty bucks. So yeah, I I guess all of them come with it. I did not know. I'm happy. Raven, this is way com this feels like it's gonna be way comfortable. Wow, let's see how easy this is. 
turn the crossbow back over and then it should go if it's like the rifles which I'm assuming it is oh, come on Gotta undo this all the way. Because it looks like it should clip right here. And right here. But in order to do that, I gotta get this thing apart. There we go. Ugh. Turn. Ugh. You gotta push it and turn it and click. There we go. Perfect. Just like a rifle one. Okay. We go here. Hey Austin, if you watch, man, I'll put a link to your YouTube channel. Uh, I just got to figure out. I'm not good with uh, links and stuff yet. I'll figure it out. Austin is the guy who uh, helped me purchase this. He was the salesman at the store. Really good guy. Helped me out quick. Was in and out. Thought it was going to take a lot longer. He had everything set up for me. I called in, asked what I was going to do, let him know. He talked to his manager to make sure it was okay before I even got there. Had everything all set up for me. Excellent. I mean, great, excellent customer service, Austin. Thank you very much. And I think I know why your guys' uh, case is there at the store. R130. <laughs> I think it's because of this. Well, let's see. So. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, see how it hangs? Comfortable. What a cool deal. What a cool deal. Now let's, one last thing before I let you guys go. Let's get this off. That is not the easiest thing in the world to do. I'm supposed to be able to push it with one hand. I wonder if there's a way to loop, like if I loop that up, if it'll be easier. Bring this off. Bring this up. Yeah, Austin said his channel. Well, oh, look at that. Like a glove. And there's a little bit of looseness in there, but try to turn it all the way to think like so. Huh. Seems to fit in there better like that, but I don't think that's the way it goes. Yeah, I'm going to leave it turned upside down. If anyone knows, this is how it's supposed to go in, because I think if I had the side on there, I wouldn't be able to get it in like that. But that seems to be better. 
right now. We're gonna put the. Let's flip this. Yeah, there's a lot of extra room in there. So if I wanted to add padding or anything like that myself, like a blanket or one thing, I gotta look in there and see. I didn't see any. They don't fit. Yeah, they don't fit in there. I mean, if I took the arrows out of the quiver, they would fit maybe. Let's see if they fit inside. This is just gonna move. It's gonna fall back as soon as I lift up with it. And then all the weight, if I was to put it on my back, is gonna be going back. So I was curious. I didn't look for, but I don't see either any kind of a strap. fit in here. Let's see. And if I go like this. At least I'll keep the dust off it say this is <laughs> soft case designed extremely for exclusively for Raven yeah so they show it here I'll show you this I'm gonna tie this real quick so this is how they show the bow in the case so it is that way but they do have the scope on it which I cannot do if I get the other, well, let's see what this feels like. Almost done, guys. If you've been here this long, thank you. Sorry about that long rant. I just. And you want to be able to hunt and you want to do things ethically and oh so something already there's uh loose stitching all over i'll clip that off So, I mean, it works. It sits quite high above my head, if you can see. I mean, you can almost see the whole raven symbol. Coffee's cold. It's been a long video. Okay, guys. This has been the Raven R10 unboxing and rant about my uh, state laws. Soft case is nice. I'd prefer it over a hard case, I think. Um, there is some loose stitching on the case, so I don't know if they put their best work into the case. I wonder if this would fit. That fits in there so I can keep everything together. I'm going to go read this and maybe buy me a hat. So. Please like and subscribe. Um, and when in the link, I'll put uh, I'll put a link to uh, Austin. The guy who sold me this is uh, sold me this. I'll put a link to his page. 
a nice guy, good guy. Sure, if I'm not telling you where he works, I don't know. I'll tell you his name's Austin. That's about it. I'm not telling you what state I live in. That's all up to him if he wants to do that on his channel. But please, like I said, like and subscribe. Please like if you don't want to subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, please let me know why so I can try and remedy that. And I'll do some more. I got a new fly rod and reel I got to show you guys. So I'll do that video too. This has been a long one, but I think it was important to get done. Everybody stay safe. Uh, this is Bobo from Bobo's House Bushcraft and Survival. Thanks, guys. Bye.